Speaking to Canary Island manager Brad Wellman and assistant manager Sammy Knott, uh, congratulations fellas, the news been, has been announced tonight that you've officially been given the jobs after a, a period of looking after it after Mark Bentley left. Uh, Brad, firstly, congratulations. How are you feeling at, at the news coming out? Yeah, thanks, Len. Um, yeah, privilege to be fair. It was, uh, you know, it was a, a surprise when Mark Mark moved on, and, and good luck to Mark at, at South End. And you know, originally um, we weren't sure what was going to happen, and we sort of got together and, and and you know kept the team moving forward. And the boys backed us massively, as I've said in previous interviews. And uh, yeah, just felt it was a natural thing to do. It was a natural progression to keep this group going. I think that. Um, from the three games we've, we've been here, you can see that the boys are backing us. They're they're working hard. Um, we've we've adjusted little things. You know, we've got two clean sheets on the bounce now. So, yeah, really excited about what the future can hold and uh, and what we we can continue the success that, that that Mark bought, but also add to it as well. That's important. And Sammy, your coaching career, obviously your playing career got cut shorter than you would uh, you would hope, I'm sure. Uh, but obviously your, your coaching career does date back to Canvey when your, your time in, under Laurie Carter in the academy and then uh, full, full circle all this time later, you're now assistant manager. Yeah, it's been it's been a journey, you could say. Uh, obviously, like you said, it's a very sharp turnaround from I was I only stopped playing last year. Um, initially come in just to ask Mark if I could help out, really. Um, and under Mark's guidance and under like Brad's help over that period, I've really enjoyed it. And when Brad had a phone call with me and said, look, what do you think? And I, I said, oh, you've got to go for it, mate. And I'll back you all the way. And it's hopefully we can just keep pushing on and see where the season takes us, really. And Brad, you talk about the players giving you the vote of confidence. That's something that Chairman John Batch has reiterated as well, is that he's spoken to a number of the senior players and uh, they were all very very, much, uh, very convinced that they wanted to, to leave things under your uh, yourself and, and Sammy's hand, uh, capable hands. How much does that mean, knowing that the players had you back in that way and wanted you to kind of carry on things? Yeah, it's, it, it's great. I mean, you know, as a, as a, as a manager, um, you always want your players to to believe in you and, and to back you. And, and when Mark sort of stepped down, it was the outpouring the sort of messages that I immediately got from from every player. To be fair, there wasn't really one that that didn't message me. Um, I was getting messages and phone calls, and, and Sam was getting them, and they were fearful that um, that you know somebody might come in and and change something. And, and this group of boys are. We've got such a togetherness, and I think that steps back to the um, the time we had in the FA Cup run last year when everyone else was stopping. We was in lockdown; no one could go out, but we was allowed to continue as a group to to get together twice a week, play our games at the weekend. I think we really come together then. So, you know, for for the boys to really sort of back me in the way they did, that's that's what convinced me because, you know, I've, I've been open in, in a sense of. You know, I've never really thought about being a manager. I've always been happy as a number two. Um, and I thought that was, a, that was a great team that we had with Mark and then bringing Sammy on as a coach. And, you know, Mark, Mark to be fair, Mark backed me as well. Mark said in, in the team meeting when he was leaving that, you know, get behind Brad and, and, and give Brad the opportunity. And, and just knowing that I had Mark's backing and the boys backing made it easy. And you can see that the way they reacted against in the Berry game, um, not just from the way they played, from the from the way they reacted when they scored goals. You know, they were, they were coming and celebrating with us, which was good. And we had a bit of banter afterwards because you know before the game, I said to them, "I need an extra one percent from you." Um, and you know, they come in afterwards saying, "Well, you know, Mark Mark wins four one and we've won five one for you. There's your one percent." So that just tells you there the, the boys are behind me, and uh, and you know they they've kept asking over the last few weeks, "When's it going to be announced, etc." And um, you know, so they, 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 they've been they've been concerned about that, but they, they've, they've got my back. And listen, I, I've been at this football club now eight years. Uh, obviously, starting under Danny and, and John. And John showed me massive, massive backing during that time. He, you know, he's, I get on really well with John, and he he's shown the confidence in me to when Mark come in to 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 ask to ask there around, and he's seen me develop there. And and now that, that Mark's moved on, you know, John said it's straight away. Said to me and Sammy before we got on the coach. To Barry, you know this is this is your job, so go and, go and do it, and and I know you'll be successful. So, you know it's, it's good to have the backing of the the whole club, really, um, and and also the fans. The fans have been fantastic, and you know we're, we're, as we go on this journey together, you know me and Sam are local Canvey boys, so we've got the club at heart. 
I played for him as a kid. My dad was chairman here um, back in the 80s. Um, we want this to be successful. We understand that we can only be successful is if if the players are backing us and John's backing us, but also the crowd are backing us. And, and the, the togetherness between the, the crowd and the players and the, the management staff is something, again, that's just a special bond that's creating. And we want to keep that moving forward. Our, our, our fans are going up and up. The, 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 the attendances are going up and boys love it. You know, so the fact that we're all pulling in one direction, I think that this ship's going somewhere where, where we're going to, it's exciting. And Sammy, you'd have been in a, a number of dressing rooms over the years. That uncertainty that may have been hanging around, although it didn't translate onto performances on the pitch, were, were obviously excellent during that time. But uh, I suppose a, a dressing room where there is a bit of uncertainty, uh, does that have the potential to destabilise things? And how much do you think that this news now being made official will help just to settle any nerves that are in the dressing room? Yeah, I think... As a collective in-house, we sort of knew the score really. I, I think all the boys sort of had it in their head that Brad was going to get the job. Um, so obviously that showed in our performances as well. But of course there was going to be uncertainty. I think the more of it come from fans. Fans were wondering what's going on. Obviously we've just come back off for three really good wins since Brad's been in charge. And we've had both had messages like, so when's it going to be announced? So there was still that little bit of uncertainty towards the public. Um, so I think now it's going to be put out there. I think Brad's going to get a lot of messages. I'd imagine I'm going to get a lot of messages and it will be it'll be fantastic. And it will be, like Brad said, this ship's going somewhere. We all need to jump on board and just keep keep riding the waves. Anything that comes across, we keep breaking down the waves and we'll, we'll be where we want to be eventually. And finally, Brad, on to, on to Saturday. Obviously, uh, the manager of the month for the second uh, second month running. And good news has been announced at yourself and Sammy. I suppose the, the one thing we don't want to happen now is obviously to go in and put in a, a below performance, uh, below par performance on Saturday. How determined are you for that not to be the case? To be fair, it's, I know it's, uh, you know, they keep saying you win manager of the month and your results dip, etc. And I remember when, um, when we got the last one, Mark come and sat in the dugout and sort of said, you know, he was a little bit, you know, a comment was made about, I hope the curse sort of starts today. And, and Mark said, it's not happening. We're, we're, we're going to, and, and we kicked on and, and that curse, as far as we're concerned, it's not here because we've overcome that Mark leaving. We've continued that, you know, I mean, me and Sammy take, well, you know, and, and the boys and, and, and uh, Alex and, and Stace, you know, we'll take the credit for the last three games, but Mark's been a massive part of this month. So, you know, he's um, the manager of the month is really as a collective as a team involves Mark as well. Um, so finally South End have won Summit this year. But, um, but you know, listen, we're going to go again. We, 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 we don't worry about them things. The, the boys are so together, such a togetherness at the training session that I, I don't think we've got any worries about things like that. It's just more a case of, you know, let's go and win the next trophy game because now the big boys come in after this and that gives the boys an opportunity as we've just said on the training pitch. We want to play against them teams. We want to show them teams what we're what we're capable of, and um, you know I think we'll continue that Saturday without being sort of over confident. You know we'll do things right. We we you know we worked a lot on not conceding goals again this week, and, and we're we're pushing for a third clean sheet. And I think that we've got enough in our squad of players to uh, to go and win the game. And then obviously we we turn our focus back onto the league. So. Well, Brad, Sammy, congratulations once again. Good luck on Saturday and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks, Glenn. Cheers, Glenn. Thank you.